Thank you, Julie. I appreciate that. Welcome, everyone. This afternoon, we have roughly 45 minutes, I'm told, to um, approach a subject that I think warrants a two-day seminar in and of itself. What are today's tech companies doing to support Bay Area or art programs and artists in general? I don't think there's a nonprofit um, or museum or art dealers association in the Bay Area or even maybe in the world that hasn't been asking that question. I think we're really fortunate today, and, I, and I'm thrilled that all four of these um, individuals are here uh, representing, in my opinion, four of the most pioneering companies in the world. And to my knowledge, this is the first time that we're hearing collectively from many of these programs as to what is happening in some of these companies. And I think um, it's going to be interesting to see what evolves. So before we talk about new um, paradigms, I think it's really important to revisit history. I'm one of those people. I think <laughs> the um, original concept of corporate art collecting dates back to the Renaissance, actually in, in 1472. Um, by the Monte di Pachi Bank in Siena. And this is a collection actually that still thrives and exists today with over 2,000 works in its collection. The father of modern collecting is supposed to be uh, Rockefeller. He um, started buying in 1959 and now J.P. Morgan Chase has one of the largest collections of corporate art in the world. By the mid-90s, half of Fortune 500 companies and another 2,000 companies around the world, in Europe and in the United States, had actively started collecting art. 